What's up, y'all? Welcome back to DIY Gringo. Today, I got a cool video for y'all. Five things from Harbor Freight that you didn't know you needed. We may even have time for a bonus one. We'll see. So, anyways, let's get into it. Starting out, we got a four-piece funnel set. It comes with a bigger one all the way down to a smaller one. And you may be thinking to yourself, why do I need a funnel set? I already got one. The one you got's covered in oil. You don't need that. You have one of these sitting on the shelf anytime you have a project where you don't want to get any sort of contaminants into whatever you're pouring through the funnel, you'll have a new one on the shelf ready to go. Plus, they have smaller sizes so that you can use it for smaller applications. Moving on to number two, we have a mechanic stethoscope. This is just like a doctor's stethoscope. However, it's used for applications mechanically related. It has this extra probe you can add on the end. You just put it on just like you would see a doctor do and you can place it on an object to see if there's any sort of noise coming from it. It's especially helpful, say you have a engine that's making a ticking noise and you wanna find out where it's coming from, you can really use this to pinpoint and dial in on it. It's pretty cheap and it's worth having in case you ever need it. Who around here likes to breathe? I know I do and I don't ever wanna have issues breathing. That's why another thing you should get from Harbor Freight is a respirator for whenever you're painting or using anything that's aerosolized. This respirator will protect you from it. It's just your typical painter's respirator. They're not very expensive and you can't put a price on your health. So I highly recommend picking one of these up next time you're at Harbor Freight. The fourth thing on our list today is a set of brass couplers. You can see I've already used some because these things are super handy to have around because if you ever pick up a new air tool, it does not include the connector. So you will need to make sure that you have some of your own. Hence the reason why I recommend picking one of these up so that in case you forget, you don't have to go back to the store to buy another one. You got them on the shelf ready to go. And our last but possibly most important thing that I recommend anybody picking up to have in their shop or their house, if you're doing any sort of DIY or home repair, is a storehouse 1001 piece nut and bolt assortment. This bad boy comes with all sorts of different screws, nuts, bolts, washers, you name it, even cotter pins. And if you have them in the house or in the garage, you don't need to worry about whenever you have a screw that gets messed up or damaged or if you end up losing one. I recently replaced the screws on this carburetor because the screws were all stripped out and I had to completely destroy them to get them out. If you want to see that video, be sure to check it out here. As well as this as well as this motorcycle gas tank that I recently poured tank liner in when I was removing the rust though, it completely rusted out the previous bolts. Don't need that anymore because I got the new bolts from the Storehouse 1001 piece nut and bolt assortment kit. Bonus item you probably didn't know Harbor Freight carries this now, but they do. 5 8 combination box end wrench with a bottle opener. How cool is that, huh? And while the stuff that comes in the storehouse may not be able to fix my low self-esteem or my bad jokes, it can give me a place to hang my Harbor Freight bottle opener. And a couple things worth mentioning. I am in no way sponsored by Harbor Freight. I've just been a long time customer of theirs and I've been really happy with their products. They've saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. I think the quality is really good for the price that you pay. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit subscribe. If you didn't, let me know in the comments why not. I'll see if I can address that later on in a future video. Thanks for watching.